<laughs> Welcome to the big nine o'clock hour, everybody. I'm Raul Martinez. How are you? Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Shali Zamarodi along with the beautiful Miss Chrissy Russo. Friday, March 17th. By the way, just a few <sighs> seconds yeah. ago, you just saw the lovely ladies uh, from Clan Rinka. They've been dancing up a storm yep. for us on our back lot today. It's good stuff. Uh, and also coming up, they, ch they just walked by yeah, they did. the newsroom and I got all excited. They just won the state championship. San Diego City College. The Knights are here. The basketball team is here. We got them outside. So happy and proud of these guys. They, they brought the championship to San Diego. We're going to play with them a little bit later on. Oh, but first, ladies, are you ready? Yes. Maybe you're not feeling the corned beef and the whole deal and the cabbage tonight. Maybe not. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. We have Ray Knight. He is a co-owner, brewmaster of Finest Made Ales. Oh, my goodness. Ray, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, okay, so... A yummy meal that can maybe go with your beer. It's St. Patrick's Day. You don't have to go with the same old, same old. So you got some options for us, right? Right, definitely. Okay. Yeah, okay, tell us what you brought. But first, you know, you started off as a chef and then you get into the whole beer. How does that transition happen for you? Uh, it's really about the flavor and the flavor profiles. Yeah. You know, uh, traditional brewers start with a style in mind. They make sure. a beer that fits the style. Sure. I like to start with the flavor in mind. Yeah. You know, what, what we can come up with. You know, we've got sour, uh, salty, sweet. You know, main components of, of flavor. Everything, yeah. right? Okay, so you're making mussels with chorizo. You yeah. know, I grew up with my dad always eating that, and then nobody was hip to it. Now everybody's using the chorizo. It's delicious. It's great, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell me kind of what we're doing and kind of show us how to. Can we do this at home, or is it like a? No, this is this is set up. You can do this at home. Really? It's okay. A, it's a really easy easy thing to do. We're gonna start with. Uh, Three tablespoons of olive oil. And you got the olive oil in there. You warmed ready. up your pan already. Yeah, by the way, yeah. congratulations oh, yeah. on a very clean pan. I'm very impressed <laughs> by that. You've actually used that at home. Yeah, this and is, it looks brand new. Yep, yeah, this is my uh, professional lar large sautus. Sautus has a high side. Right. So when you want to steam something, you always want to have high sides. Awesome. So we're gonna add our chorizo, and this is hard chorizo. Oh, uh, can I sample Spanish it? chorizo? Oh, sure. yeah, the Spanish chorizo. Oh, I took three pieces. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna add that oh, in. That's so good. Okay. We're gonna let that, uh, we're gonna get that going. You can hear the sizzle there. But what we want it to do is we want it to release the aroma. Right. This hard Spanish chorizo's got a Spanish paprika in it, which has got a little bit of smokiness. Mm. So we're gonna let that come out I'm as, enjoying as it, it cooks. It's a really great aroma. It's gonna so release the oil. How long does that happen? Uh, about two minutes. Okay. Uh, we wanna let that uh, go around, uh, brown a little bit, sure. re release its oils. Okay. And then we're gonna add shallots. Garlic. So I'll add the shallots. Why don't you throw the garlic in there? Sure. You want to throw that in? Yep. Here we Come go. On, let's do it. How much of this garlic you got in there? The whole thing. The so, whole so, so, that's, so that's four cloves of garlic. I like to slice Wait, it more. myself. I missed a piece. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Never have enough garlic. Yeah, that's it. Oh man, that smells awesome right now. Yeah, so you get the nice smokiness, Holy the aroma. Mackerel. We want to sweat this out so that we can hear the. Uh, yeah. Um, smell the aroma of the garlic come through and once we get the, the hint of the garlic that's when we're gonna go ahead and move on okay. we're gonna add our, our mussels and then uh, I brought this is our finest made Pilsner now look at this it's a <laughs> hoppy Pilsner yeah buddy um, so going back to culinary one of the my wife's Korean so one of the things that we really like to do is we like to I'm gonna add the mussels now is we like to uh, wow go out for Korean food and so when I'm we do applauding. This, I rarely applaud in the kitchen. When we go out for Korean food, yes. I wanted a beer that I could have with the raw garlic and the and the, the strong flavors that we had out there. Sure. So about a cup and a half of the of the beer. Cup and a half. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Perfect. We're gonna let those steam to oh, open up. Wow. So. Ooh. So a cup and a half of that because I was gonna say that's a pretty generous amount of the beer you put yeah. in. Yeah. You know I. Uh, yeah. So the. I got a cold one here, so you can try what we're oh, working gee. with. Okay, where would that be? What yeah. kind of beers uh, would go with traditional Irish foods? Just wondering. Like um, that, that would be this, by the way. Give you some I have one of these at home, and I yeah. it was <laughs> empty, so I may need to stop by and restock. Right? Yeah. What is this one I'm drinking here? That's the Hoppy Pilsner. So it's light, crisp, clean. It's got a nice uh, floral aroma oh. on the hop profile, <laughs> but uh, man, really oh cleanses the palate, high effervescence. But to go Ooh. with but to go with yeah. Irish food, um, really what we want to do is we want to always the, the rule of thumb for anybody mm -hmm. out there that wants to pair food sure. and beer is strength for strength. So if you've got a really strong beer, of course you want uh, strong flavors to pair with it. And so today we have delicate muscle flavors. They have a little bit of iodine, a little man, bit of salt, oh and really what we've got is with the chorizo, we're going to use the effervescence from the beer to kind of cut through the fat. It's so perfect. each bite 
We can re-cleanse our palate. This is like a dream meal for me right now. Uh, <laughs> open right. up and show me, because I'm going to say, uh, Ray's recipe, by the way, is on our All website, right. fox5sandiego.com. All you have to do is click on that scene on tab, finest made ale in the house. Ray, thank you so much. That is amazing. Great job. And cheers to you. You don't have a glass, but that's oh, okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day, All right, thank, thank you. You, for you too. Right. Back over to you.